Welcome back. A high stakes game of political chicken still underway at Harris County Commissioner's Court. It started with State Comptroller Glenn Hager ruling that yes, Harris County constables had been improperly defunded $3 million that their de departments had managed to save. Now, instead of restoring the funds, Judge Hidalgo, together with Commissioners Adrian Garcia and Rodney Ellis, chose to mount a court challenge. Friday, a state judge in Austin oversaw a settlement, prompting Comptroller Hager to write, quote, we have diligently worked to facilitate a local agreement, even as Judge Hidalgo engaged in childish attacks on my office and Harris County law enforcement. Hager added, the only barrier standing between Harris County Commissioner's Court and a finalized county budget are hot air and political ambition. Now, in response, Commissioner Garcia accused Hager of playing political games, labeling his defunding ruling a farce. Panel, the court agreement we are told allows the county to proceed with approving a budget which must remedy the alleged defunding or risk triggering genuine sanctions from the state. Holly Hansen, I know you've been covering this. What the heck is going on? You know, it's really interesting because we know that the constables were meeting with county officials. They had come to an agreement uh, that was on the table, had not been approved yet. There had been communications with the comptroller's office. And yet, instead of trying to work with everyone and remedy the situation, uh, the county decided to hire not one, but two private law firms that are very expensive and fight this in court is kind of a big show uh you know and then there was this hearing last week it was very interesting and uh, the state agreed yes the county can go ahead and adopt a budget and a tax rate but we're pointing out these issues that must be cured in this proposed budget and if they're not then they're going to be subject to the terms of the new state law that says you cannot take away funds from your law enforcement agencies um, but there's been a lot of political spin. And again, we're talking about $3 million and a budget of what, $2 billion. And uh, it would be pretty easily remedied. And another issue here, you know, they keep trying to say, well, you know, the rollover funds are not good budgeting practice. And they're not uh, talking about the fact that those funds do get used. It's just after the end of the fiscal year. And they're not talking about the fact that the county judge and all four commissioners kept their rollover funds in uh, the case of precinct one rodney ellis's uh, precinct is it's uh, something like 30 million dollars it's it's a huge amount of money so uh, there's a lot of hypocrisy here all right tomorrow belt you know the commissioner's court can solve this problem by just putting the money back or they can try to score political points and change the narrative that oh look who's defunding now what's your take on this they stole my thunder. That's my take on this. Because I was definitely going to say, how they going to say you can't do rollover? And all of them did rollover. And look, El Franco Lee had more money, damn it, than the whole state. He kept his money over and over. How you going to say they can't use rollover? This mm -hmm. is political pandering. Listen, y'all, don't believe the hype. I'm telling you, they, the, the the same people who saying that the that the um, law enforcement can't keep their rollover, all their asses kept their rollover. They kept it, and I'm gonna tell you, it should be more important to you that you should be able to go to Kroger, go to Walgreens, go pick up dinner for your family, and make it back home without being murdered, and that they get the help they need instead of how many damn administrative assistants and how many more uh, county administrators, assistant account administrator, executive county administrator, what other titles they make up to fund. Public safety is number one, and that means whether it's law enforcement or Harris County flood control, those are your priorities. And I'm telling you, if I was Cagle or Ramsey on the day of that vote, hell, I'd be fishing. All right, said he'll lead a third. I mean, 93% of our viewers in Sunday survey do not believe law enforcement has been properly resourced during this crime wave. Is this a mistake on the part of the Democratic majority to kind of play this game of chicken or should they just give the money back? Well, first of all, I do agree with Commissioner Garcia that the state controller, Mr. Hager, you know, this, this, these political games, this chicken back and forth only hurt the citizens, hurt the community. There's not a single institution that this has not passed their budget. I'm talking about public institutions because everyone loses. If every if you don't pass a budget, everyone's and if they decide not to have a quorum, then they don't get anything. They get zero. However, on the rollover funds, it's just good practice. If I'm, when I was in education, um, 
if you don't use it, you lose it. So basically this, this practice here, um, if they pass the budget, they're actually going to increase law enforcement by I believe three to 6%. So you're gonna get a bigger piece of the pie according to what they're saying. Now, again, if the budget passes and when they does pass, there's always, you can always amend the budget to do these things, have that negotiate to reach that compromise. You can always do a budget amendment. So this idea, this chicken only hurts the people and the citizens. Okay.